everything coming to the new Siege season next season. Thank you to Ubisoft for allowing me to play this early. I appreciate it so much. This is my first ever time in here, and I get to show you guys everything. So let's start off with the Recruit. Recruit is on attack and defense. Now on the attack version, he has an M4, which is Mavericks M4. He has the M249 saw, he has the shotgun, and he has the Ashes pistol. Now, Recruit's main ability is basically he can bring two gadgets at once. So there's something you could take as like an EMP and a hard breach device. So you can literally get a wall all on your own. You could bring flashes and a grenade at the same time. So you can literally just be like an insane fragger. It's, it's actually insane. Now for defense, basically the same exact thing for the uh, type of utility that he can bring. Like for example, you could bring like impacts in a C4, which will be insanely good. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But his loadout is going to be the commando, no ACOG. I really hope they give him an ACOG, please. I'm begging. And then uh, M870, and then the super shorty, and then the C75. So if you want a double pump, go for it. But I think the coolest thing about this is like, for example, let me give you guys a couple rundowns for this. Like impacts and C4, you are literally going to cook any shield that you can possibly think of. Prox alarm and C4, you can literally like sit there with the prox alarm, wait for them to walk in, have a C4 below, blow it up the second they walk in. So you can really combine like a ton of different things that you'll be able to like do super cool things with because you can do it all solo. Especially the attacking bro, bringing like the hard beach device and the EMPs is just going to be beautiful for solo queue players. I'm super excited for it for ranked. Overall, I really do like the, the, the recruits, uh, two speed, two health. Great operator. I do hope they, they do buff the defender a little bit. Like, give him an ACOG, and I think he'd be much better. But overall, great, in my opinion. And also, only one person can play the recruit at one time. Now, Solus did get nerfed. This is a big nerf. Let me, let me explain it to you. You cannot use it during the prep phase anymore. It only lasts 10 seconds instead of 20 seconds. You cannot use it unless it's the bar at the bottom right is completely filled up. And she lost impacts. Like, I don't even care about the rest of the stuff. I agree with everything else, but why are we taking away impacts, bro? It's such a sad day, but it's fine because at the end of the day, you do have a shotgun. So I think uh, a meta that I'm going to be running whenever I play Solus is going to be the shotgun and the SMG, kind of like how, how when you run it with smoke. So that's what I'm going to be using when I use Solus is going to be that shotgun SMG, uh, you know, combination. But you just have prox alarms, so that is very good. A prox alarm and a BP, yeah, they're not impacts, but they are two, like, some of the best utilities that isn't a C4. So, like, especially the prox alarm. I'm probably going to be using prox alarm, like, every single time. Like, overall, she did get nerfed a lot, but... You know, I think they're going to see how this does go. Maybe they might change it because um, I know they are doing something for Phase 2 next season to Solus. I don't know what else they're going to change, but she did get nerfed a lot. Like I said, the distance is also shorter too, so you have to get closer to them in order to see them. Now for Fenrir. He only has four gadgets now, and on top of that, you can activate two at a time. And let's say, for example, one does get destroyed like this. Now you get another one back. So you can basically, like, activate another one if the one that you have active does get destroyed. Another cool thing is, like, you know, at least for an attacker, a cool thing is if you see like a Fenrir, you can literally just destroy it. Like it's, they're not, they're not bulletproof anymore. So I think it is a pretty good nerf to him, honestly. Like I, and I also do like that when like one of these does get destroyed, you do get a ticket back. So that way you can basically put, you know, activate another one. Overall, great, amazing, beautiful nerf to Fenrir. I hate having to go up against the operator. Hopefully he'll get banned less, but I don't know. He's still going to be brutal, but he's still very good. He's still very good. Now for the barbed wire change. Barbed wire actually does damage now. Now I'm sure I'll have a clip on screen. Yesterday I was trying it out, or today I was trying it out, and like literally if you take five damage when you walk through barbed wire now, it's very similar to a gridlock, like when you walk through it, and you can literally die to barbed wire, which I think is great. So you can't kind of like silent walk up. Like you're gonna take damage, you still walk through it at the same exact speed, but you're gonna be making this like like moaning noise essentially, like as you're walking through it. So it's a lot harder to silently walk through and you take damage for it. So you literally have to make sure you destroy it if you don't want to take any damage and you want to be as quiet as you possibly can. Yeah, in my opinion, I love this. I think it used to be the same way too. I'm pretty sure like it used to take damage to barbed wire. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been a while. There is now a difference to stuns. So right, if you go to general, you can come here and you can turn off, where is it? A stun VFX, white glare or dark glare. White glare is the normal stun. You get stunned, it goes white. Dark glare, however, on the other hand, as you can see on screen, if somebody flashes you, bro, your entire screen goes black and then it slowly kind of fades back to like normal. Bro, like, I have been using it. I do like it more. That being said, it scares the shit out of me every time. I won't lie to you. Like, it's like a jump scare. One, the first time it happened, I thought my game crashed. Like, my entire screen went black, bro. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I, I was ready for it too, but it, like, it literally, like, is a jump scare. 
like I'm not, I'm not trolling, bro. It scared the shit out of me. I won't lie to you. But it, I actually do like it because it doesn't hurt my eyes. I'm not being yanged IRL. So I do actually like it a lot. And I kind of like how you recover out of it more as well. So overall, W change. Now, if you go to the uh, training area, they have this new thing for map training. So one, um, like, like the actual map training, there's new operators and new maps. But when it comes to another just drill they added in, they added in this thing called Endless Drill. Basically what this is, it's a 60 minute T-hunt essentially, right? So like you have 60 minutes and they just keep respawning and you can keep doing this over and over again. It's actually a really, really good way to warm up. Like I think this is gonna be like a substitute way for um, instead of doing free-for-alls all the time, just doing this. You can even hit like the back button for toggle guidance and it just shows you where all of them are so you don't have to guess. So this I think is a huge change when it comes to warming up. Like this like will compete with free for all. I still think free for all will be a little bit better because you're taking such aggressive gunfights. But this is a great replacement in my opinion for T Hunt because like we all miss T Hunt. Nothing will ever replace it. But this is amazing and you could do it on defense and attack. So it's much it's different than T Hunt because T Hunt you could you could do defender T Hunt, but it was not like this. So this is a really really good way to do it on attack and defense. One of my favorite things that got added this season. Now another cool thing is like for example they changed some of the attachments and the way it looks right. So I'll show you what I mean. So on the far right side, it's like this, this whole new graphing thing. It shows your damage, your fire rate, but it shows your ADS speed now. And for some reason, when you put on extended barrel, it increases your ADS from 0.46 to 0.52. It's the only thing I've noticed is the presser doesn't do anything else, but the the extended barrel does change it. And the cool thing is you can kind of like customize different things. So for example, um, if I don't have a laser on and I do have extended barrel on, it takes 0.58 seconds to ADS. If I put on any other thing, whether it's like a flash hider, then I throw on the laser, it now takes 0.46 seconds instead of 0.58. But it's just really cool because you can kind of see exactly like like the class that you can customize. Like even like if we go to like Fetze Bandit uh, MP7, we take off, you know, we put on Iron Sight, we put on Under Barrel. Now we have a 0.39 second. Wait, let me home. Wait, no, hold on. I think I'm reading this all wrong. Cause why is it a why is it faster ADS time than like with the scope than it is AD, on AD or when it is with a iron sight because they said iron sights make your ADS faster so maybe I have this completely flipped maybe extended barrel maybe you want a higher 0.41 I'm confused I'm confused because it says 0.41 seconds but then if I put on a scope it says 0.39 seconds maybe I have it flipped so I, so maybe the extended barrel makes you ADS faster. Maybe you want it to be high. No, there's no way you want it to be higher. It's just cooked. 0.39 seconds for some reason with a scope. I think it might just be bugged. I think it might just be bugged. But I do like that you can kind of customize each one and see the, um, like, like the shotgun is a, damn, 0.29 seconds ADS speed. That's insane. Really cool thing, too. You can see the destruction of it. You can see the reload speed. You can see the recoil patterns, the recoil control difficulty, stuff like that. Super cool, and I love this change, too, here, too. Then obviously the marketplace is live. I can't show it to you right now. Um, it's just a normal marketplace. It's live to everybody for the new season. Once that comes out, uh, like so, as long as you're level 25, you can engage with the marketplace. Another cool thing is if you go to standard, you can come here, and I'm not going to switch the map filter because it will crash my game. It's bugged. But you can basically switch it in casual modes and stuff like that to only ranked modes or every map. I'm not going to do it right now because it will crash my game. But on top of that. Perfect announcement that we could do here as you can see stadium 2020 and stadium Bravo They've actually changed the map a lot So this was pretty much the one from 2020 if you guys are new you may have never seen this But they've also changed a lot like they, this is not what it used to look like they changed the way the map looks They got rid of a lot of the windows for this as well But I'm not gonna give you like a whole map tour because that would just be boring But it's basically just um, the 2020 version with some changes. It's basically like a mix of Oregon and coastline Wait, was it or? Yeah, yeah, it's, it, I believe it's Oregon and Coastline because like down here is like the old Oregon side of things and over here is like the main Oregon stairs, you know, the main, well, that's the main Oregon door. This is like the Oregon room. So, you know, this is the 2020 version. Now, they've also added the 2022 version, the one that we've all played and ranked. They did have some changes to that as well. Got rid of a lot of the windows, stuff like that. But do not worry, none of them are coming to ranked as of yet. Um, I believe it's right now it's only for like any game mode that's not ranked. I prefer, I would honestly love to play this one in ranked. I really do hope they add this one in because I did like this one a lot better. Like, this one is sick. I love this one. This like the armory room. This is Oregon stairs. You know, master bedroom. So, you know, I do love this one a lot more. I would love for this being ranked just to add in some spice and stuff up. But yeah, they changed both of them and they're both in like casual unranked stuff like that. K 
cameras look different now as well. Like, as you can see, they look a little brighter now. They look, they look better, in my opinion. And drones look super saturated. I don't know if that's just a bug or not, but drones are super saturated right now. Like, super bright colors. And even the lighting on some apps look a lot better. So I do think they changed the lighting of a lot of things. On top of that, I'm sure they're going to talk about it at the Major, or they already did. They're adding in, like, a membership thing where you can basically, like, get a membership to the game. And you can get exclusive skins that you can't get on the store. And you can get, like, battle, you get, like, battle pass points. You get battle pass tokens. You get... A ton of other things that you get from the membership. Like I said, I haven't seen fully of what it is, but I'm sure they're going to talk about it more at the event. But let me know what you guys are most excited for for this season. I'm super excited for the recruit. I cannot wait. But I will see y'all. Much love. Have a great day. Peace.